What the heck is going on everybody? Let's learn to load 3D models during the runtime of our application. So in order to do that, first go to the build.gradle file and add the dependency of scene form UX and also add the dependency of scene form assets. This will allow you to fetch 3D models during the runtime of your application. For now use version 1.6.0. In version 1.7.0 there is a bug because of which fetching 3D models during the runtime just doesn't work. I have reported that bug. So for now use 1.6.0. Add Java 8 support. Hit sync now. Go to the manifests file, add internet permission, add camera permission and declare feature camera, add metadata. Now go to activity main.xml file, add a fragment set with an ID to match parent give this an id ar fragment and name com google ar scene form ux ar fragment go to main activity dot java create an object of ar fragment This will hold a reference to the AR fragment in our activity main.xml file. Cast it to AR fragment. Set AR fragment on tap AR plane listener. Create a method place model. This method will take the anchor as a parameter. Hit Alt Enter and create method. Now we can fetch the 3D model. Model renderable dot builder set source this and fetching 3D model during the runtime is done through renderable source. So let's build that. renderable source dot builder dot set source first parameter is the context second parameter is uri which links to the 3d model create a string asset 3d this string will hold the link to our 3d model we will pass the required link later for now just pass asset 3d and the last parameter is the type of our 3d model so in scene form you can fetch two types of 3d models during the runtime the first is gltf models and the second is glb models so for this example we will be using gltf model You can also scale the object. We will scale it down to 25% and set recenter mode to root. And finally, build it. After that, set registry ID of our model renderable and pass the asset 3D as its parameter and then build it after that accept the model and create a method add node to scene pass model renderable 
and the anchor in this function also implement the exceptionally function it will return if there is any error okay so if there is any error then we will display it through an alert dialog throwable dot get message and then show it lastly return null from this function press alt enter and create method node to scene create an anchor node on the given anchor set its renderable to the renderable we fetched and lastly add this to the scene and go to the manifest file and inside the application tag add uses clear text traffic to true now if you are testing this app on android 9 then this must be set to true because by default it is set to false Now open any browser and go to poly.google.com and download any GLTF model you want. I will download the Android robot. Download the GLTF file. We will also use ngrock for this app. What's ngrock? Well, uh, ngrock lets you create secure tunnels to the local host. So it will provide a link to the local host and all the files on the local host will be accessible from anywhere in the world. Download ngrock. You will also need an Apache server running on your device. So I will be using XAMPP. Start the server. Fucking absurd. Go to services and make sure Apache is running. Go to network and enable port 8080 to 80. Go to volumes and mount the volume. Now extract the ngrock zip file that we downloaded. Unzip. Extract the GLTF file that we downloaded. Copy these three files and paste them in the htdocs folder.
now open your terminal or command prompt and navigate to the folder where ngrock is stored and use the command dot slash ngrock http port 8080 and if you're on a mac device then you don't need to add dot slash in the beginning hit enter This link will direct to the local host. You can check that. Enter the link in the browser. And this should take us to the exam page. Okay, so this works. So copy this link and go to mainactivity.java file. Paste it in here and put a slash and then the name of our GLTF file. That is andy.gltf. Now we can test it. Look for a plane. Our plane has been detected. Tap on it. You can see the files are being fetched. And our model has been loaded successfully. Okay, so this video must have been really helpful to you. So give this a like, comment how do you like it and subscribe to my channel.